Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and uh, update my PS3, put a custom firmware on it, and uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, I thought I'd make a little video here. I've been meaning to update my PS3, and I just haven't got around to it. Uh, if we go here to System, and we go to System Information, I'm on 4.86, so I'm going to update it to 4.88. So we'll go ahead and do that now. I'm on a custom firmware now. Um, let me see here. As you can see, I do have App Home Package Manager. But we're going to go ahead and just system update it. Update via internet. And we'll go ahead and download the latest Sony update. Go ahead and just skip all that. Of course, we're going to accept it. And we'll just hit start on it. And we'll give this a few minutes. Shouldn't take too long. I am on pretty fast internet, so if I recall, I believe Sony updates are under under 300 megabytes. They're not very big, so it shouldn't take too long. While that's going, I'm just going to get my USB stick ready here. Um, I don't know where my USB stick is, so I'll probably use my hard drive. But, uh, yeah, we'll give that a few minutes here. And uh, once we get closer to the end, I will be back. Okay, so we're just about well. We just finished there. I kind of kind of wasn't quick enough, but, uh, yeah, our PlayStation should go ahead and reboot now and start the installation process. And there we go. So we'll give it a few minutes here. It shouldn't take too long to get going. There we go. So we'll give that a few more minutes here to install. It shouldn't take too long, but we'll speed it up a little bit here. Okay, so it looks like we are actually doing another reboot here. Sorry I wasn't quick enough on the, the draw there, but uh, yeah, here we go. We're loading in now. Just got a lot of lot of things going on around my setup here. Just trying to get my PS4 going there as well. So, But uh, yeah, we should be good now. Let's go ahead and turn on the controller. We'll go over to... Oh, I keep on forgetting the system settings is up the top. And then we'll scroll down to system information. And there you go, we're on 4.88 now. So okay guys, so now that we're on the PlayStation here, there's a few things we need to do. First, we're going to jump into our date and time. And we're, Even though it says the right time, you may get an error saying clock isn't right or something. Uh, easy fix for this here. Just click on date and time and hit set via internet. And once that's set, we're just going to go over to System Settings and just make sure automatically update is turned off, just so that way that you don't get any updates from PlayStation. We'll go over to our internet browser. Go ahead and open it. I have my browser already set up, but uh, we can pretty much uh, set this up pretty quick. We'll just hit Triangle. We'll go up to Tools. We're going to make sure our cookies is set to Allow. Our JavaScript is on, and we'll go to home page, and we can just use blank page, and then hit OK, and then we will go to tools and just do what we usually do on the PlayStation 4, just delete cookies, history, we're going to choose yes for everything. Um, so there's four options here, cookies, search history, cache, and authentication information, so we do that pretty quick here. Uh, I think I did that one twice, but that's all right. Down to cache now. Say yes. And tools. And authentication information. Okay. So I already have the site bookmarked, but you can uh, you can just get it here. It is uh, PS3 
exploit.com with a knee just X and once we do get in here we will go into BG tool and we're gonna go to the main site and this is usually where you get the clock error if you don't set it via internet so we'll just say yes to the plugging but uh, yeah it comes up here and you're not able to do anything we'll just uh, give it a couple seconds your PlayStation do a triple beep and that just means that the tool set is ready we'll go to flash memory and we want to make sure our USB stick or our USB hard drive is plugged in um, if you do get uh, the screen check mark that indicates that your PlayStation is able to put the custom firmware on so that's a good thing but we're gonna go to flash memory and we'll go to save flash memory backup and we're gonna choose the USB and then we'll hit save should only take a few seconds it's not very big it's like 16 megabytes so as you can see it's going pretty quick there um, but once this is done we're gonna jump over to the computer so everything went through there good so let's get over to the computer and we'll go from there okay guys so now that we're over to the computer we wanna plug in our USB stick or USB hard drive you should have a dump hex file this is uh, basically our dump we wanna confirm that everything is good there you will need to download a program it's called Pi PS3 tools I will leave a link in the description basically you just come over and hit download and it will download into a zip file and then we'll just extract it and you should see it here so what we want to do here is just drag over our dump and we're just going to drag and drop it on top of this and we're basically looking for no errors to make sure everything is okay and it will tell us at the end no dangers no warnings do you wish to open the log file you can just say no to that that's not a big uh, big deal but we do know that our dump is good so from there we just want to make sure that we back this dump up it doesn't matter where you put it but put it somewhere safe and we're good to go from there uh, next thing what we want to do is download our custom firmware we are going to be using version 4.88.2 uh, Evilnet so we can scroll to the very bottom and the one that we will be using is just the basic one uh, this is if you don't have a blu-ray drive if it's not working this is uh, bluetooth and this is uh, blu-ray drive and bluetooth but we'll go with the regular one and once we download that you'll have it in a zip file and inside the zip file you will see your ps3 and update so what we're going to do is just drag it over we'll just uh, go in here and drag it over I've already went ahead and dragged it over so it would be done so we're good to go there if we back up here we want to check our MD5 just to make sure that file is good so this would be inside the rear we'll just copy this number and we have another website I know it's a lot to follow along but uh, it's uh, once you get the hang of it it's not very hard so we'll go into E PS3 update and we'll select our update it will take a few moments here just to to load but it shouldn't take too long it's going pretty quick it's at 50 percent now basically we just want to confirm the checksum to make sure that uh, they both match and there's the number we'll just paste in the one that we just copied and we got a green check so we're good to go there um, since we're at it we're gonna go ahead and download multi-man 2 because I know that if you're going to jailbreak, you're going to probably want to play backup games. So we'll just come to this website and we're going to take the base and we'll just download that. And once it uh, downloads, it downloads it directly as a package file. So if we just close all this out, we're just going to copy it over to the root of the drive. We'll put it on there just like so. And once that's done, we will jump back over to the PS3. okay so now that we're back over to the PS3 menu here we should still have our browser open we're just gonna go to flash memory and we're gonna go load patch via HTTPS go ahead and give that a few minutes shouldn't take too long 
Uh, basically, we just need to load the patch in order to install the custom firmware. So as you can see, it is going pretty quick here. 50%. Okay, 80%. You can go ahead and plug in your USB drive or your USB stick, whatever you're using that we just uh, copied those files over to. And once it's done, we'll hit close. And from there, we're just going to click on this right up here, flash memory again, and we're going to hit apply loaded patch. And we'll hit, we'll say yes to it. And we'll just give that a few minutes. It shouldn't shouldn't take too long here. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not the. Uh, should go pretty quick here. I'm. There we go. That was. I didn't think it took that long, but uh, yeah, just give it a few seconds and it should start going. Okay, so I just uh, just skipped ahead there. Once it is done, you should have a green check mark, and we'll just hit close on that. From there, we can go ahead and hit our PlayStation button, and we can just jump over. We're going to do a restart just to make sure that uh, everything takes effect. Um, there we go. So we'll be right back once I get everything booted back up. Okay, so now that we're loaded back up, uh, as long as we have our USB drive plugged in, we should be good to go. We'll jump over to our settings, and we'll go up to the top, and go to system update, and we'll do it via storage media. And as you can see, we do have the custom firmware there. We'll just go ahead and hit OK. And we'll give it a few seconds. There we go. We'll just uh, install it like we usually do with any other firmware. Accept, start. It shouldn't take too long here because it's taking it from the USB drive. Okay, and I'm just going to let that there go ahead. I'll be right back. Okay, and there was 100%. It should go into a reboot. I think I forgot to mention too, when you do plug in your USB drive, make sure it's plugged into the right USB port. Um, it won't work on the left. So we'll give this a few moments here, check in for update data. And there we go. So we'll let that there install and I'll be right back. Okay, I kind of missed it there, but we are in the process of a reboot. Um, it kind of went from 70, and then it just skipped to 100%. And I wasn't quick enough, but as you can see, we are loading in now. And everything loads up perfect. So one thing we want to do is before we... Uh, and the video here we want to go and s install multi-man so we'll go install package files and we'll choose standard and there we go there's our base and as you can see it's going pretty quick it's only a small file and perfect and there's multi-man we can go ahead and launch that Give it a few minutes here to load. I'm just plugging in my other USB drive with uh, the backups of my games. If I can get it in quick enough here. 
Um, okay, and I don't think I was quick enough, but we can switch it. I like this here view. We just go ahead and hit refresh. will take a few minutes here. I think I have like 260 games, I believe. Okay, we'll just give it a few more seconds here. The hard drive light is flashing. Uh, this is the initial initial load so it can take a little bit of time in the meantime while that's loading go ahead and hit that like button um, it really helps out the channel also if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button let's see if we can get up to 600 subscribers before the week's out really helps out the channel and for the people that are subscribed I really appreciate it I'm trying to uh, try to make videos as much as I can I mostly cover the uh, the PS4 hosts but uh, I managed to get another PS3 so I want to try a few things with PS3 so that's why we are here I'm finally uh, Finally doing the update to 4.88. Just haven't had a chance. And there we go. Okay, that's not the view I like. Let's uh, hit R1 a few times here. I like the cover view, but uh, yeah, that's the view I like there. So as you can see, all the games are there. 224 is what I have. Um, but yeah, all the games are there. So we can go ahead and close that. But uh, yeah, that's basically it for the, the video. I hope you did enjoy it. And like I said, if you if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.